Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly love reading from July 5th through the, would be around the 12th of July. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, the top row will be your energy. The second row will be the person that um, you are dealing with or um, hoping to deal with or want to deal with. Uh, you'll know how it fits in your life. And the third row will be your outcome. So I'm going to tip you down here. Okay. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of July 5th through the 12th? Okay. All right. Right off the bat. Your card is here and present. You are in your element. You are in the upright. You are coming out of a spiritual awakening. Um, you are dealing with somebody that you are spiritually connected with. Um, to me, these are the two most spiritual cards in the deck. Um, that and temperance. But uh, beginning the week, you are coming out of... Yeah, I hear coming out of... For a group of you, you could be going into your hermit um, phase, you have retreated, you have healed, you have come to the conclusion of what it is that you want in life. Um, with the high priestess, however, your intuition may still be a little bit off. Um, you're, there's something that you're not quite seeing in your immediate space. Uh, <clears throat> also secrets could be coming out. Um, for a different group of you, you are going into, uh, this um, time of solitude, this time of reflection, um, this time of spiritual, uh, in search of spiritual uh, enlightenment. And this is all being caused because of the tower. Either this, for some of you, this has already happened. But for a group of you, you are trying to keep this from happening. Um, you know it's there. The seed has been planted. Uh, the tower will fall. Um, it's just a matter of time. So there's no sense in trying to keep it, to try to stop it. Um, you could be going through a time of financial struggle as well this week. Um, yeah, finances cannot be could possibly not be working out for you. Um, for some of you, you're thinking about leaving somebody. Um, but you've held off because you don't want to, um, to hurt them, to financially, for them to financially struggle. For some of you Virgos, this could be the parent of your children and you're worried about them taking care of the children without you in the home. Um, uh, wrapping up the week, you have the Knight of Swords. So you are going to move forward very fast, Virgo. Um, you're going to come in, uh, yielding that sword and just laying out the truth as you see fit. Yeah, this is going to come across you very quick. Like all of a sudden you're going to awaken. All of a sudden you're going to be like, why am I here? I need to move forward. Why am I been stuck? Why have I been keeping this tower from falling? Um, I got to go and you are going to move forward. The person you are connecting with is the emperor could be Aries or have Aries in their chart, but they're very well established, very well grounded. Um, they have what they need. Um, they seem very successful. You could be waiting on a message from this person and you're just not receiving it yet. Um, towards the beginning of the week or, you know, around the, you know, the fourth or fifth. Yeah. In the middle of the week, they have the wheel of fortune. So, um, you have the tower, they have the wheel. For this group of you, this is a person you're in separation from is what I'm getting. And the tower is you with your current partner. Uh, this is somebody that you are not with um, currently. They have the Wheel of Fortune. So when the tower comes down in your life, their wishes are being answered. Their hopes, their dreams, their wishes um, is going to spin in their favor. It's taking the tower falling in your life in order for you to move forward and to be with this person and to end this uh, third party situation. Somebody's going to be felt left out in the cold. Um, 
so it's just better to end the third party situation and to, um, and this person is no longer going to be the third wheel. They're no longer going to be that extra person in your life. Um, they're going to say, choose or I'm walking. And you could be felt like you're being abandoned by this person, even though you have made them a part of a third party. They're no longer going to stand for that. Yeah, because they're feeling betrayed. They're closing a chapter to this. They're no longer going to put up with this, Virgo. They feel betrayed, backstabbed because of this third party. So they're putting it to a stop. They're not going to allow this energy anymore. It's either pick pick me or I'm walking is what I'm hearing. And, uh, and, and it's going to come in their favor. What is the outcome of Virgo and whoever they're connecting with? What is the outcome? Okay, so the outcome is neither one of you are moving forward. However, um, you both feel a connection. You both feel um, like there's something uh, worth waiting for. You are not moving away from this current relationship that you feel stuck in, Virgo. You feel stuck. I mean, there... It's coming down, you know it is, but you're afraid. You're afraid of financial struggle. You're afraid that if you leave this person and follow your heart, you're going to financially struggle through life. And that's not the case at all. This person that you're thinking of is not your partner. This person is somebody that you are in a third-party energy with. They're walking because they're tired of the hurt. They're tired of the heartbreak. They're tired of being the third party. They're tired of being second choice. Um, they're no longer caring what you're up to the, the, they have found a new sense of balance in their life. They have attained the highest energy vibration that they can. And, and good luck is coming their way. Good fortune is coming their way. However, they can't seem to move forward past you emotionally. Um, because they're very confused by you. They're very, um, you tell them one thing, but your actions say another, yeah, this could be a fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius um, or Leo. They're very well, they are on their game. They are ready to move forward. Um, they don't want to though. They don't want you because they find a passion with you that they don't have with anybody else. They want to have a family with you. They want to love you. They want to end this third party, end this hurtful chapter in their life and move forward with you successfully um, to a brighter future. But they're, they don't know what to do because they're confused. You tell them you love them and want to be with them, but yet you're not ready to, oops, you're not ready to leave your current situation. Wow. King of Cups and King of Wands. There's so much passion and so much love that you two mutually share, Virgo. Um, yeah, there's, there's just so much love, so much passion that, um, they don't understand why, why you're not together. If these two people vibrating at the same level have the same love and same passion for each other, why is it so confusing for you who to pick? Why is it so confusing for you not to move forward with me? Why is it so confusing for you to just make a choice and stick with it is what they're asking you, Virgos. Your bottom of the deck is the emperor with the empress. This is a, this is meant to be, this is the highest couple of the deck. Um, you can't get higher than that. Um, you have love and passion for each other. This is a spiritual connection. Um, this, this is a soulmate, um, relationship. If you're in the twin flame journey, it could be your twin flame just because these two are the highest vibration uh, that you can attain. And it's here. The potential for it is here, Virgo, but, and it's guided by the sun. Wow. And the moon. Okay. Yeah. This is twin flame soulmate, um, sun and moon, yin and yang, light and dark shadow and, um, shadow and light self and the lovers. So 
yeah, it's time to uh, open up communication with this person. It's time to let this person know how you feel, honestly. And it's time to let this tower come down so the wheel can turn in both your favors and this con state of confusion can end because this person is at the end of their ropes. They're at the end of a chapter and they're going to move on without you, Virgo, if you do not follow your heart, follow your passion and and just make a choice and stick with it. Um, yeah, for sure. Let's see what the angels have to say. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for Virgo for July 5th through the 12th? What advice do you have for Virgos in love? Okay. Give your relationship a chance. So pick, you know, work on your partnership, but you have to pick a partnership first to work on. Um, sharing your energy between these two people is not working because your soulmate, who you're meant to be with, who you're meant to walk into forever with, is ready to walk out of your life because they're they're ending this third party. They're no longer going to be on the backside of this betrayal, on the backside of that um, stabbing, on the backside of coming in second or having to share you um, because their wheel of fortune is here and they're ready to move forward. So um, yeah, Virgo, it's time to make a choice. I see you guys making a choice in um, this next week. So I wish you um, much luck. Much love, and as always, may God bless your journey.